All right, um, welcome back to the shop. So this is gonna be a quick video on how to fix the problem with the rear steering locks um, not engaging themselves once you shut the system off. Um, this is just gonna be a quick video. Sorry if I'm not doing too good on it. I got a kind of bad cold at Thanksgiving and I haven't been doing too much today, but I wanted to come out and do this video because um, it came up on the growler forum about these and um, I just want to show you guys how to change them. Um, there's a pretty simple way to change them. Um, instead of taking the whole unit off, I've kind of come up with a way where you can change them pretty easily. Um, you know, not too bad as long as you can handle a couple wrenches and not even that. Actually, you can handle a screwdriver and, uh, and you know, you got two hands. So anyways, let me show you how these are retained. So on the end of this shock, there's two cylinders. I'll show you where they go in a second. Um, I just want to start off with this. There's, there's some notches here we can get a screwdriver, like a foothold with a screwdriver. I just want to show you how to release it first, and then we'll get into where they're located and how we change them. You get in there, you just got to wiggle this loose. And then once... You don't have to pop it out all the way, you just have to... You just have to pull it... Well, not pull it all the way, but you don't have to pop it out all the way. You can just slide it up to, you know, to that, you know, to where it kind of clicks and holds itself out. And then this... Uh, ball or you know bolt ball thing whatever on it um, will pop right out of it um, on the new replacement ones they did change them it doesn't have this style lock on there but it's very similar um, so um, it's not a problem and I'll give you guys the uh, the part number of the part as well so you'll be able to see or you be able to um, buy these yourself let me go over to this growler here I haven't started working on this one yet but um, so the steering locks I'm talking about this one's easy to show you. It doesn't have the rear pants, so it's easy to show you. But here's the locks right here. Here's where they weld them. Um, you know, once you if you decide to grind that weld off so that these steering locks can release, um, then you want to fix these because these on every growler I've worked on, these have been bad. Um, so you grind that off, and then it, it allows this um, when you go to use the rear steering to um, it has a, has an air ram right up here. Use this compressed air. So you have to you have to have air built up in your system. Have it in reverse or first. Turn the system on. And then it'll, this ram will, re, will retract with, with compressed air and it'll lift these two locks up so that this uh, steering can slide side to side when you go to steer it. And then when you shut it off or if you go out of, you know, take it out of first gear or take it out of reverse gear, for any reason that you shouldn't be using it or you turn it off, um, it releases the air out of this ram. And then these two uh, gas pressure rams, um, they're 60 pounds each, so it's 120 pounds of force on there. They pull this back down so that it'll lock the rear steering back up. Um, so once this is cut out, I'll have to change these ramps so that it works. So there's two ways to get to the, well, three ways, I guess you can get to the ram. Um, one is to drop that whole unit down. You have to unhook some hydraulic lines, the airline, and you could drop that whole unit down. Uh, the other way is if you have a lift, you know, you put it up on the lift, take the rear belly pan off so you can get into there. Um, I'm not bothering to show you on the lift because it, most guys don't have a lift. Um, you guys can do this in your garage or your shop or whatever. Um, but anyways, you take and lift the rear deck open. This one's not bolted on, so I don't have to worry about lifting it up. Down here, you undo this uh, screw if it has it. You lift this hatch up. And right down here are the two rams. You'll see that there's there's three uh, uh, things on here. This, this third top one here is just a switch. That's the indicator switch to tell the system that... Um, that the system whether it's locked or not so to change it and i've got a pretty easy way to do it because these locks are kind of hard to get to on the back side on the barrel end of the ram so what i do if i can get under this one okay so we get under there we pry that up like that and then just get the screwdriver behind it just pop it off so once you pop this off the trunnion ball, you just grab the rot, the barrel end of the ram, and you just unscrew it. So you're basically, let me show you on this one. So this, this is the anchor on the end you can't really get to. Um, so once you get this end off, you just want to grab the barrel and you just unscrew it. And you can unscrew it right off and just leave this eye. This will still be on the trunnion ball, it'll still be on there. And then when you get your new ram, uh, just take the existing one off, the one that came, the new one that came with it. You can reach in there. It's not too hard to reach in there to grab this. Uh, it's just hard when you got to fiddle with all this stuff. Um, but then you take and you just uh, get this started. Just make sure you don't cross thread it. Make sure it spins easy. You screw it back on, and that's what you're going to do inside uh, this hole here. You're going to do that inside of here. 
it's not that hard it's just really hard for me to do this with the camera to show you because you have to reach down in here and just kind of hold that 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 tail piece up you know to hold that socket up and you'll just screw this right back on and then you can use the new one of these that came on it or you can use your existing one you could change it but you just snap it back on the ball and then if you're going to use this existing one you know if you put the, the old one onto the new ram and then you just push that in there and it locks it right on um, or if you use the new one just it's pretty simple you can see how they lock on they just snap on and you change this one and you change this one back here and then go ahead and test your system and you'll see that it uh, it locks itself once you're done here's the old uh, turn in on the end and and here's the new one. So the old one had that part in the center that you have to uh, You know slide out you have to get a screwdriver behind it and slide it out to get it off to get this to pop off the turning ball and the new one just has this uh, Spring band on here and you just put a screwdriver in this slot right here and pry this out to get it to come off And it doesn't come with the new ball, but that I mean if your old ball is broken I think you can buy the balls, but um, you just leave the balls on there You don't need to take them off to change them. You just Pull this off and pop it off the ball. It's the easiest way. And then if you look at the part number, uh, the old one is GG540. Uh, and then the new one's GGN40. And it, I, th I don't know if they just changed their numbers or what it is, but when I searched for them on their site, I put in this number and it came up with this as being the replacement for it. 60 is the spring pressure. And C is tells what kind of ends that it has on it. So here's the old one and the new one. So if you want to try to procure them yourself, um, the sticker's right here on it. It's, it's a company called Gudin, and they have a website. I think it's just gudin.com. So you can contact them directly and try to buy them yourself, um, or if you want, just look for on eBay. I should have some listed on there. Um, or just send me a message, and I can sell you some direct. Uh, so anyways, I hope this helps. Um, if you liked the video, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share the video with a friend. And uh, remember to hit that notification bell so you can see all the other fun stuff I'm working on here. I got growlers lined up. I've got a, a Lamborghini LMO002 I'm working on. Another growler. I've got a couple more growlers coming in. And it's just always something going on here. So, anyways, thank you and have a good day.